haven't been doing anything. I've just been observing and making friends. Now, uh, this is the, uh, this will be the new communist premier. This is the only person, this is the only person who will win in this new struggle for Africa, a vulture. Okay? And this is his friend. I'll give you an example. A minister in England said, he wasn't very high in the government, but he said, there's one thing you can be certain of, about South Africa, that there is going to be a great explosion. And simultaneously, this same statement was being med made by a man by the name of Moss, who was a senator from Utah in the United States. And it was also being made in four or five other quarters. Always the same statement occurs in many places and is then replaced by a new statement, which is made in many places. And it's then replaced by a new statement, which is made. Who plans these statements? And because certain things can be blown into being as, quote, great truths amongst the populations of the Northern Hemisphere, actions are taken which are favorable to the people who are enslaving Earth at this particular time, the communists. I am not particularly against the communist. I am only against the slave maker. I am only against the liar, the cheat, and the thief. By a letter I received just immediately before my departure from the Minister of Defense of South Africa in Pretoria, Dear Dr. Hubbard, as a South African, I can only express my appreciation for the stand you are taking, not on the side of white South Africa, but on the side of truth. Thank you, J. Fauché. I know many of the cabinet ministers of South Africa. These men are some of the hardest working government officials you ever cared to meet. They're very sincere. The only weakness they have, they have two weaknesses. One is security. They do not push security home. They are too decent. And two, information. They do not conduct a comparable propaganda campaign to the communist campaign which is launched against them. These are their two weaknesses. They have no other weaknesses. Just as you are prepared to forgive people that you consider friendly and decent some of their sins, so was I prepared to forgive the government of South Africa some of its upsets when I went down there. I knew They didn't even know what a vote was. They didn't even know what self-determinism was. But all of a sudden, they were told, we now abandon you. I don't care how you talk about this thing called freedom. There is freedom and there is abandonment. And the United States and other countries is following the policy today of abandonment of the black man. They don't care to put out the money by which he can develop himself, train himself, and go forward, subsidize himself until he can stand on his own two feet. So they abandon him by telling him it's free. And that's the source of all this talk of freedom. Now, there are other ways to do this. Right now you'd tell me, well, the government of South Africa does not permit the black man a vote. He doesn't even know what a vote is. What, what do you want, another Congo?
The communist message to the world is all you have to do is get the European out of Africa and there will be total peace and it will be okay in Africa. What happened when the Belgians left the Congo? Well, that's what will happen throughout Africa. All development and advance of any kind whatsoever will be stopped if the European is driven out of Africa. You can count on it. Now, what I'm telling you probably doesn't make too much sense. Here is probably the greatest resettlement project on earth is going on in South Africa right now. They won't permit these Bantu to live in slums. They are resettling them and they're giving them decent homes. Well, if the Bantu doesn't register the same on an e-meter as a white. As a matter of fact, they call me Eshemaklope in Sangoma. And there's at least one person here who I think knows what that means. It means the white witch doctor. <laughs> and I have learned some things about the band too, his nervous system and reactions, which are uh, of considerable assistance to people trying to get along with the band too. And the things they blame him for happen to be native in the Bantu, and his nervous system is not the same as I. The only thing I'm trying to point out to you, I'm not actually trying to sell you the South African government. I could easily do so because I consider these men very able from what I have seen. Very nice guys. I know them personally. They're not as advertised. It's just the only thing I'm trying to tell you is there's these tremendous reports in the northern press concerning a country on earth. And none of these reports are factual. But South Africa has gold and it has diamonds. And I think we're looking at a new type of imperialism. Now the same thing goes on against America. The same thing goes on against England in various areas. And the same thing goes on against Scientology. The press has ceased to be factual, has ceased to be a reporting medium, and has become a propaganda media throughout the world. Therefore, before you believe anything wild, whether about Scientology, South Africa, or anything else, there's only one thing I ask you to do, and that's to, well, the advice of Minister Fauché. Not necessarily a stand on the side of white South Africa, but certainly a stand on the side of truth. And I believe that America can win across the world the moment it recognizes that the sole weapon of the communist are propaganda, and his sole stock in trade are lies, and his sole aim and goal is slavery. So let's take a look at the status of things, recognize that the war that we are fighting is a war of information, a war of propaganda, and that the enemy wishes us to believe many things which are not true so he can achieve his end goal of slavery. That's the only thing I'm trying to tell you. What is true for you is what you have observed yourself. And when you lose that, you have lost everything. What is personal integrity? Personal integrity is knowing what you know. What you know is what you know. And to have the courage to know and say what you have observed, and that is integrity. And there is no other integrity. Now, whether or not the MP regiments will be reconvened across the length and breadth of South Africa 
with total right to kill all other black men for whether or not they won't be and will continue to be governed, restrained, educated, and brought up to a properly uh, domesticated level before they're let loose. That is a problem which has to do with the men who are on the ground and what they stand up to and what they surrender to, these various factors. But let me tell you right now that if the fondest hopes of many great powers were realized and total determinism was granted to every black in Africa, the black population of Africa would be reduced by 50% within a year. Who wants all these black men to die? Who are the evil people of this world? Same question. We understand that the world right now is being given a great deal of propaganda on the subject of overpopulation. We are told that we are going to get all overpopulated. Now, is this freedom kick a bid to prevent overpopulation? What is this? But on the subject of overpopulation, I have asked myself several times, who will be the overpopulation? You? Me? The fellow who doesn't agree? Who is the overpopulation? What is this idea that we mustn't have overpopulation? What is this? Where did this come from? So what is this kick called overpopulation? Is it an attempt to keep you from getting another bonnie? Or uh, is it because there are areas of man that just hate man and can't stand to see him around, so they decide that the best thing to do is put out a lot of propaganda that permits him to wipe them out? What, what is this kick overpopulation? As far as South Africa is concerned, the final thing I will say, which is probably very shocking to you, is there isn't any trouble in South Africa. There isn't any trouble. The only problems they've got in South Africa is the idea that they have problems. And the band too is working, and the government's working, and everybody's happy, but there are a lot of people around saying, yow, 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 look at all the trouble, look at all the upset, look at all, give them all freedom, and gotta, gotta go do this, gotta go do this, blah, 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 blah. And this is blah. I'm not necessarily approving or disproving of South African policies. As a matter of sober fact, I believe their policy is slightly dangerous. I believe if they bring the Bantu up to a level of civilization and give him a total vote, I believe they will fall short of bringing him up to that level that they desire and will yet give him the vote and will yet wipe out white civilization in South Africa. I believe that this is a high probability that will occur. But it will occur because the nationalist people are too kind and too decent, not because they are too... And these chaps realize that in Scientology they have an answer to ability that a person who can bring... Uh, control and quietness to his own area is very desirable to have in South Africa, and they recognize that Scientology does this. Sentiments may not be popular, but ask yourself why they aren't popular. Well, you've had a very gimmicked up day, haven't you? Lots of gimmickry today. You don't get any to...